Houses are often home to a wide variety of animals, including cows, horses, sheep, and of course, pets like cats and dogs. But for one Montana ranch family, they have a pet that's truly one of a kind. For this morning's Montana Ag feature, Russell Nimitz takes us to Two Dot. Good baby badger boy. Meet Gilbert the Badger, a bit of a legend in South Central Montana, if you will. And for sure, a surprise Mother's Day present for Melody White by husband Mac some 15 years ago. It was too late because I'd already reached inside and grabbed what I thought was going to be a puppy and pulled it out and went, ah, this is a badger. And so begins the story of Gilbert the Badger at the McFarland White Ranch near Tudot, Montana. Basically, Gilbert had been sacrificed to the great, badger gods in the sky by his mom and we weren't sure how to take him back. Having a pet badger does take a little getting used to like learning badger etiquette. You live with the badger, he doesn't live with you. He dictates how you behave around him. If you can keep his mouth busy, you're safe. If you don't and you startle him, you're bit. When it comes to food, Gilbert isn't too shy or picky about what he eats, but we did learn he does have a few favorites. Gilbert eats dog food, cat food, carrots. His favorite is cantaloupe and watermelon, and he really likes fudge sickles. And here's what visitors think about meeting Gilbert for the first time. I've had reactions from, oh, wow, that's really cool to how fast can I get into this chair? Now I'm not necessarily recommending that you run out and befriend a badger right away as a house pet, but if you do, be ready to have plenty of cantaloupe, carrots, lunch meat, even a few chips on hand, and well, just food in general because they are hungry, they like to eat, well, it's kind of like having a teenager in the house. Reporting from the McFarland White Ranch near Tudot, Montana, I'm Russell Nemitz, MTN News.